All right, good. So got the recording going. So again, um, we are so fortunate to have the app company with us tonight to do a webinar broadcast about their products and services. And there's never been a better time to really dive into application development. And we're so happy that we've got uh, the partners here with the app company, a new partnership with shop.com Market America. So I'm gonna go ahead and change presenter mode over as we introduce the, uh, the guests here. But I am so happy to announce to you and, and kind of introduce to you uh, Nick McCandless and Scott Robinson from the app company. They're going to take us through um, a little bit of an overview of their company, their products, their services, and there'll also be a chance for questions and answers uh, following. And of course, this is just the beginning of the relationship. You'll be able to see them at some of our upcoming events. And I'm going to go ahead and just let uh, Nick take it away. Nick, are you there? Yes, this is Nick. I'm actually going to have Scott begin and then I'll take it over from there. Okay, fantastic. Scott, why don't you go ahead and start us off? Hi, everybody. I'm Scott Robinson. I'm really happy to be here talking to everybody today. I probably, Nick and I were at the Miami um, um, conference a couple of months ago, and I'm sure we, we met a bunch of you, and we've got a chance to present some of our wares, and we're just excited to continue the relationship and start working with you. Um, we, the app company is a full-featured, app, full-service app company. We're in Southern California. We work with companies not only in you know, the United States, but all over the world. We've been in business now pretty much since a week after Apple started, announced that they were doing apps. You know, we took the um, initiative and we started developing apps right from the start. We were one of Apple's featured partners. We've launched over 100 apps to date in all kinds of platforms. We've done a lot of sports apps, small business apps. We've done apps for universities. Um, basically, you know, probably a dozen to two dozen different types of verticals. Um, we, many of our apps have been top sellers. Um, we, as you can see from the slide, we had an app that was the number one education app, top five in news, entertainment, sports, lifestyles. Um, so really where we are is that up until now, our apps are pretty much custom apps. So companies, you know, large universities, large uh, organizations, government agencies, come to us and have an, a specific idea for an app. It's like they want to build a house, we're the architect, we're the builder. We build the app from scratch with them. But we realize there's, a, and, and these apps are not cheap. I mean, if someone is going to come to us and want a custom app, I mean, it's a lot of time, there's a lot of planning. Um, you know, everything, all the graphics are custom, all the features are custom. We repeat a lot of the things we do. And we realize, though, that there's a need for this kind of like a middle market. They're actually, so that's what we do, these custom apps. There are opportunities, and I'm sure you could Google it. There are these kind of cheap do-it-yourself apps, um, kind of like a Wix for websites. But we wanted to be more like your web centers, where it is you know, somewhat of do-it-yourself, but it's very custom. And that was our goal here, to kind of duplicate what you guys have for you know, web centers. So... We've developed a platform where essentially we've taken the features of our custom apps and a lot of the technology and turned it more into a build-it-yourself um, platform. And we had, and as you know, Nick will actually go over the features and how it works. But you know, we have various packages where you know, on the lower end, you got you have all the features, but you build it yourself. And then we have a couple of tranches where we will you know start, we'll set it up for you, so you really don't have to do it. And then either you know we can make changes for you, or you could take over once it's all set up and make you know small graphical changes, move menus around, add some features. So that's essentially where we are. Um, we're about to show you a video, which kind of gives you a you know a minute or two overview, and then Nick will go through the features and show some of the apps, and also show the backend CMS. And of course, we're here to answer any questions. So Nick, why don't you start the video? The app company platform was created for businesses of all sizes. Businesses can create their own apps for iOS and Android using our easy to use interface. No technical knowledge is required. Our app platform features the same industry leading technology and tools available for expensive custom apps used by Fortune 500 companies. Use your app to communicate instantly with customers, enhance the customer experience, Reward those who support your business and more. 
We are proud to launch the App Company platform with Market America and offer 10% cash back and 20% IVV on both the initial setup fee as well as on the monthly service contract to unlock endless potential in building your residual income. Okay, great. So that's a little overview. And Nick, uh, Nick McCandless is one of my partners. Nick, why don't you go into more detail and then you know, we're here to answer any questions. All right, great. So as Scott mentioned, I'm Nick McCandless. I'm also a partner here at the app company. As you saw in our promo video, our app platform is extremely powerful and flexible. You know, for the remainder of this presentation, I'm gonna dive a bit deeper into the features and the pricing. And then I'm also, after the presentation, I'm gonna show you guys some of the apps that we have developed and some of them that were actually featured in that video. And I'll also kind of give you kind of a look at what is powering all of the technology we, we have going on, which I'm gonna get into shortly. So as you can see here, our platform offers dozens of features and customers, businesses have full control over which options they want in their app. You know, the beauty of our platform is flexibility. Um, as you can see here, we're talking about one app, many options, colors, menus, intuitive CMS. So let's go a bit into detail about each one of those. So with flexibility being the key component of the app, businesses get to choose the theme of the app, the menu styles, the specific features that they want. Nothing is locked in, it never is locked in. Everything is cloud-based so it can be changed at any time without requiring an app update. Options can be changed at any time and all apps created within the platform are completely unique. Not only are we unique with the flexibility of the app features, but the design and look of the app as well. It's completely flexible and chosen by the business. So things such as logos, color palettes, various graphics, layouts, all of that is controlled by the business. Best of all, all this is controlled through our intuitive content management system, which I'll be showing you guys shortly. Um, and no technical or programming knowledge is required to operate it. As I'll, I'll get into the prices very shortly, but all of our packages are very affordable, um, as Scott kind of alluded to with um, other you know, things. With custom app development, it tends to be pretty expensive. Um, we're able to achieve much lower pricing while offering endless control and customization. And us at the app company, we stand by our platform and we offer 24 seven support. And as Scott mentioned, we've built over hundred apps for large to medium sized businesses. And we've also been working with smaller businesses. And you know, with these larger businesses, most of these apps range in costs anywhere from 50,000 to hundred thousand dollars and even more, um, which most small businesses are unable to afford. Um, so we have built something that offers most of that same functionality for a fraction of the cost. Apps are a great investment. Customers expect businesses to have an app and apps allow businesses communicate directly with their customers. Our platform includes full analytics and reporting. Businesses will know who's using their app, where they're using their app, and how engaged, engaged they are with the app. So they get to learn more about their customers while delivering a better experience for their customers. We offer three different pricing packages, starting at just $9.99 with a $149 monthly service contract. All packages include the full suite of features and customization, and I'm gonna show you guys some of these features later on, but we also have a web page I'll be showing you guys that you guys can reference that has a list of all the features as well. Um, but we have, so that we have our bronze package, which is $9.99, where they get access to everything. Um, but what we recommend at least starting off with would be the silver package. And the reason why is at priced at $19.99, we're gonna do the entire design and build of the app for, for your client up to five pages. We have our gold package, which is priced at $29.99, same thing, we build the app, we design it for them, but it supports up to 15 pages. We also offer custom app development if your clients have more unique de demands. Um, there obviously will be a larger requirement in terms of budget, um, but anything that is possible, we can do. Regarding what you guys receive, I know in the video it mentioned 10% cashback and 20% IBB. 
that's actually different. We are actually proud to offer, you know, 5% cash back to your customers, but 23% IBV. And that's not only on the initial purchase, but that is every month from the monthly service. And that's for the life of each customer. You're going to receive 23% IBV every single month. Why the app company platform? We're bringing our industry track record. As Scott mentioned, we've been in business essentially since the app store was announced. So no one really knows more about apps than we do. Um, and then we've had various different award winning and top selling apps. And now we've built a platform that is offering those, the same functionality of those apps, but where it's affordable. We're also offering a strong commission structure that is attractive to you guys, the UFOs. So, you know, we're really excited about this opportunity and really look forward to working with you and your customers. So that is the presentation that we have. So now I'm going to start by actually showing you guys a couple of the apps that we have, have um, that are powered by this platform. So as you can see here, so here's a small Italian ice shop called, local to us called Joe's Italian Ice. Um, so we have these various different panel images here. So for example, they show their daily flavors. They change their flavors every single day. So here we have a web page where people are able to see what those flavors are. Uh, we also offer the functionality where they can see the various different locations with their hours. They're able to press their address. It opens the GPS so they can get easy directions. They can press the phone number to instantly call them. We also have this cool feature called with our rewards program. And this is very beneficial for, you know, restaurants, but it can be used for almost any other business out there where, you know, what we're seeing here is essentially a punch card concept. Um, a lot of small businesses cannot afford the infrastructure of having, you know, a robust rewards program, but that is a part of the platform that we're offering. Um, notifications is another thing that's big. So, you know, we have a couple of clients that, you know, I'm sure you guys have all seen it. You have an app that's downloaded on your phone and you get a notification on your phone. It's just like when you have Facebook, if you have the Facebook app and someone messages you, you'll get a notification and that's how you know you received the message and to check the Facebook app. All of the clients will be able to do that same thing with their customers through the application. So take a restaurant, for example, maybe they're slow one night. They can send a push notification to people that have their app and say, you know, 50% off food for the next, you know, the rest of the night or 50% off drinks to get people inside of the door. Um, so this is Joe's. I'm going to run through a couple other apps that we've done. Liberty School, this is a wine vineyard that's based in Central California where you're able to, you know, see information about the various subregions where they have their different wine vineyards. We, one of our clients is USC. Now this is a case of a much larger client and I'm showing this to show that, you know, we're able to service small businesses all the way to large businesses. So this is the official USC athletics app. Um, so we allow, you know, schedules, you're able to view the rosters, the stats, um, you're able to view the various different sports. So you guys saw football to begin. Well, now I can switch over to baseball. Um, so, you know, this is one of our clients we've had almost since we've been in business. I'm opening the schedule here. Um, so that's the USC app. We also have Rationale. They're a commercial appliance company. And one of the ways that they leverage our platform is for people who buy their products. They typically get a lot of support calls into, oh, how does this function work? We duplicated the in interface of their actual appliances. And we have various different videos that are shown to the user that show how the functionality works, how to operate the device and so on. Um, so that's rationale. Um, I'll show, we also have a wildlife park. Um, they're based in Arizona. They're called Out of Africa. So you're able to purchase tickets from their park you're able to view what show times are, what animals are at the park, um, learn about some animals. Um, here I'm actually going to like the various different shows. You know, we have these content pages where you're able to see what the shows are, what's taking place. You know, content that people really want to know so they can plan their day, but it's all in the, you're all in your hand and easy to access. 
And then here's back to where I'll show in the animals. So if I want to look at, okay, where are all the birds? I click one of the birds. Now it's going to go to a page with all the information on it. So, you know, that's just a collection of some of the apps we have done. We have over a hundred active clients currently, but that kind of gives you a taste of what those features are, what's possible um, with our platform. Um, what I'm going to actually show you guys now is this is what we call our content management system. So here is where all of the magic essentially happens. Um, now I'll reiterate, in the case that a client signs up with our silver or gold packages or if they're a custom client, they will not have to worry about any of this at all. We will handle the build and everything for them. Um, but even if they did sign up with one of those plans and we built everything for them, they will still have access to this so they're able to make easy changes by themselves or as a part of our maintenance service, part of the monthly service contract, they can contact us and we'll do it for them as well. Um, so what you're seeing here is we're in the menu section here. Here's where most of the features and functionality is added to the app. Um, so you'll see, you know, here's a list of panels that you're seeing right here. Today's flavors, Italian ice, ice cream treats, which aligns up with the Joe's Italian ice app. Um, so here's where all that information and content is entered. And we have this app preview that actually runs on the website. So as the user makes changes, they're able to see those changes immediately here on the same page without having to actually open the app. So it slides in and slides out. So here's where those features are added. So just to show you guys a couple other features that we have, we have photo galleries as an example. So, you know, we have this night grid and we leverage Google albums, Picasso albums, and we have this grid of photos. You can scroll through them. Um, so great for businesses just to be able to show, you know, various different things for social media purposes. They could be used for branding and sponsorship placements. Um, so that's kind of what our photo gallery is. We support YouTube playlists. So if the client has videos on YouTube, we can easily integrate those, um, whether it's a playlist or even a single video. Um, so here I'm going to actually show, here's for Joe's Ice, one of our Welcome clients. To Joe's family. So we're able to show that. We have support for PDF documents. So you're, what you're actually going to see here is a PDF document, which if you're at the event in Miami, you might have seen this. This is our one-page flyer. Um, so this is our P, a PDF we have in there. They're able to review the rewards program. We support RSS feeds. So if they have an existing website or they want to display a list of content from another website, we support that. And you click on one of them and it goes to the actual web page affiliated with that RSS feed item. We support contact us. So it's very important, especially for a smaller business, for their customers to be able to contact them. But we make that easy for the business to add a contact us form inside of the app so they can contact the business easily. Um, in terms of adding content, you know, we support various different content formats. So you'll see this is kind of similar to what we had with our Out of Africa app with like with the slideshows, but we really give the user a lot of control over how they want the app to look and how their information is displayed to their customers. Um, here's another version, another version of a content page. We have an image, the YouTube video, you know, about us. You know, that's a common thing. It's good for you know a smaller business to be able to show to their customers, you know, what their business is about. Um, so this is like the menu section. I'm actually going to go here into design. Here's where we allow the user to fully control how their app looks. Um, and it's all ch changed dynamically, meaning that they don't have to, if they want to change the cult certain colors of their app, they don't have to, you know, contact us to say, hey, we want you to change this or change that. They're able to make those changes immediately, press save design, it automatically gets pushed through the app. And then the moment someone opens the app going forward, um, they will see those changes. Uh, we also, this is where they would send the push notifications that I was discussing earlier, they can set the rewards and so on. Um, so this is our CMS, you know, there's a lot of technical stuff going on, but a lot of it is, you know, through the menu, drag and drop, adding web URLs, uploading PDF documents, or here, you know, with changing colors, it's very easy to change colors of certain items. 
um, and they're able to all see that reflect in the men in the app preview. So, you know, that's pretty much a rundown of you know the apps we've done, our presentation, and kind of what's powering the back end of everything we're doing. Um, I'm, what I'm showing now is a URL which we can easily distribute to you guys, but it's the appcompany.com forward slash market America being one word. And what this purpose of this page is, you know, you guys may have a, a lead and you don't, you want us to pretty much sell the client or be able to answer their questions. Well, we're more than happy to help with that. That's why we're here. And the purpose of this page is we have things you can reference as well. So here we have the video and this is the same video that I showed you guys earlier. Here was a contact form. So if you have a lead that is interested in talking to us about having an app, we just ask that you submit, fill in all of these fields here and click send. We'll get contacted immediately. And Monday through Friday, we typically respond within 24 to 48 hours. Um, so we're very responsive. We also have our brochure, which if you're at the event in Miami, you would have seen this, um, but you can download it from this page. And it's just a summary overview of about the app company, what our platform is. And then we also have our pricing and then also the benefits for you guys as a UFO. You know, the customer earns 5% cash back, you guys earn 23% IBV on the initial purchase and the monthly service. Um, so we allow you to be able to download and access that. Also the presentation that I ran through earlier, you're able to download and view here as well. So everything that I've shown you guys, you know, if you guys took notes, that's great. If you didn't, it's still fine. You can easily download and access these materials just by going to that company.com forward slash market America. America. Also on this page, we have the rundown of the pricing plans, what the pricing plans include, and then industry leading features. Here's pretty much a rundown of all those features I showed. Once again, you can view those features again in the presentation. And uh, yeah, here's just a summary, you know, what all the packages include. So, you know, that's pretty much where we are, what we're, we're very excited to be working with you guys. Essentially, every business that has a website can also benefit from an app. Um, and we're very happy to be able to offer smaller businesses apps at a price that they can afford. Um, previously, that was not possible. Um, so that pretty much concludes what I have to show. Um, but I would love to, we would love to answer any questions that you guys may have. So. Um, Jason, how do you want to handle the Q&A? Yeah, actually, um, I've been answering some questions that have been coming in uh, through the little chat box here, but um, hats off to you guys. I, I am so excited about this uh, partnership. Um, as you were going through your presentation, which I've seen multiple times before, I'm jotting down notes like crazy. Um, I've got a whole list of candidates and potential leads that I've been brainstorming as you're going through all the different applications. It's so exciting. Um, I know right now it's a U.S. only uh, product or partnership, but we're looking to expand that. Uh, but just so the unfranchised owners on the, the webinar tonight understand the, the real power behind this is when we look at cash back at 5%, um, if you have a client that's uh, paying the, uh, you know, let's say the silver or the gold, I mean, that could be $50 to 100 to $150 in cash back. And for a lot of people that might be web center owners, we don't usually walk a lot of our clients through our shop.com businesses. And we're usually just working through the web center division. But now is a great opportunity using the app company as a way for them to really get introduced to cash back and then really understand how that fits into our entire business model. So it's so exciting how this can cross over. And for those that are unfranchised owners but not web center owners, um, it's another great um, kind of a bridge between the business to business services. So, I mean, that's one thing. But then you talk about the IBV. And I know, you know, when we first uh, brought you on board as a partner, we were talking about the cash back and the IBV. And we realized that. Um, it was probably more important to offer an incentive to the unfranchised owners um, and being a partner store, we couldn't really figure out like a retail profit because um, it, that's not how the business model works. So we decided, hey, let's really beef up the IBV. So just I don't know if anyone else has done the numbers here, but I'm going to tell you the numbers as an unfranchised owner. You know, 23 percent is a huge amount of IBV, but also when you take into consideration the packages, um, 
if it were the initial starter package, right, the bronze package would give you an initial 230 IBV, which is more than any other partner program out there right now that you could get. At silver would be over 459 IBV. With the gold, it would be 689 IBV initially. And the most incredible thing of all of this that Nick and Scott have uh, agreed to is an ongoing or recurring IBV on the monthly maintenance or the monthly fee. So the monthly fee, I think, is what, 149 Yeah, for these different packages. So that would be 34.27 IBV on a monthly basis coming into your unfranchise. And that, that is unbelievable. You talk about bringing on 10 clients, that's 340 IBV a month whether you get out of bed or not. And our business model, as you guys know, is all about residual recurring income um, and a passive type of income. And there's a great partnership here with the app company. So I am super excited. And I know right now we're talking about some, um, some potential with the custom programs. Right now we know that it'll probably hover around maybe 10% IBV on the custom packages, but don't quote me on that. We're kind of ironing out those details, realizing that some clients might come out and, and need more than a bronze, a silver, or a gold. Um, and, and Nick and Scott were kind enough to say, hey, let's let's talk about these custom programs. And if you talk about these custom programs, I mean, you guys saw the presentation, USC, I mean, even Joe's Italian Ice, Rationale. I mean, these Companies might have done some custom programming, might be more than the 2,999 initial. I mean, it could be multiple tens of thousands in, in the right opportunity. You take, you talk about like a, a university or a college or a sports team or an NPO, um, the salons that we have on, on board. I mean, you're, you stand to make a ton of IBV and recurring IBV with this partnership. So I just want to make sure that I push that out there as well because I am so excited about this partnership um, right now. So um, I'll, I'll go ahead and open this back up to any questions. Go ahead and chat away. Uh, whatever questions come in, I'll just read them off. And if uh, Nick or Scott want to answer, that's great. But I did record this uh, as well, so you can recap this. But the other thing is that the presentation is available for all of us to review. Um, and, and like I said, um, Nick and Scott have been great. We did a blog interview uh, with Nick. He answered some great questions for us on blog mawc411.com, and that's for you as an unfranchise owner. But also, we interviewed Nick as it related to the client side. You know, how, why would a client want to learn more about application development for their business? And that blog is on blog dot ma webcenters.com and i'll make sure i push all this out into our social channels but um like i said i am really really excited and you you did such a great job scott and nick on really introducing us to the power of what you guys provide and looking to really grow this relationship so uh, i'll go ahead and, and shut up but i'll <laughs> i'll uh i'll go ahead and look at some of these questions here and uh if you guys could answer them that would be great i've got a Thanks lot of Jason, while you do that, I just want to reiterate one thing. So on the screen now are, are the pricing, and I want to point out that these prices, while in absolute terms, I mean, you know, $1,000 to $3,000 might sound like a lot. For apps, it's really inexpensive. And just to kind of give you a little story, you know, the name of our company is The App Company. You know, we we're lucky enough to get it at the beginning. And as you could imagine, you know, when you, if you Google App Company, we come up. <clears throat> so we get, you know, probably, you know, a couple of dozen inquiries a week for people that want apps and you know most of the time it's custom apps and you know we we're not going to do it for under a couple you know you know probably twenty thirty thousand dollars but i mean i can't even remember someone that wanted an app that wasn't willing to spend at least three to five thousand dollars i mean even the cheapest people understand that apps cost a couple of thousand dollars so these prices while maybe for a website might seem expensive but for an app it's very inexpensive that they, they are so reasonable and I, I can't even begin to to <laughs> to piggyback off of that. You are so, so right. You know, looking at this market and some of the people that I've talked to over the years, um, this price point is incredible um, and, and certainly a lot more than that. But also for those on franchise owners that are, are paying attention, think of the power of that. Someone Googles uh, app development. And you've got a top ranking company here. And if your client has ShopBuddy, guess what? Guess what pops up if they have ShopBuddy installed on their browser? 
right? The app company comes up and they get connected to you as a, a shop.com partner. So there's so much behind this relationship. Um, so thank you, Scott, for, for reiterating that this is really um, affordable for, for even small small uh, to medium-sized businesses. Um, a, a couple questions here. Is there a contract or can the customer cancel at any time? Is it a monthly contract, a yearly contract? How does that work with you guys? So the, with our with our app platform, there's a 12 month contract. Okay, so it's a so it's a year to year, and once they start, they get a year, and then they can renew for another year after that. Month, it's 12 months, and then month to month after that. Okay, and that's fair enough. Obviously, with the low price point, you want to make sure that you can recoup some of those costs. So that's that's valid. Good. Um, now. Would you would you say that for smaller businesses that maybe are struggling with the idea that you know they don't really want a website and then a mobile website and the social media, um, would you consider an app like a, a a good alternative for for a company like certain like maybe a restaurant or something like that? Absolutely. So websites are great. Every business should have a website, but with apps there is certain functionality that can be offered that isn't as you know possible with a website as I showed you guys the rewards program the reward program alone there's plenty of business there's other businesses and companies out there that offer rewards for smaller businesses and they're charging more than what we're charging and that's just for a rewards program so we're more affordable than them and they're getting their own white own custom app at the same time um, also people are using apps more than websites you know in our interview I provide some statistics it's mind-blowing how many people are using apps over websites nowadays? That's just how everybody, you know, goes about using technology. You know, how many people go to Facebook.com on their phone? They don't. Or how many, I mean, I can't remember the last time I ever went to Facebook on my computer. I only use it through my phone. <laughs> um, so that's the way people are using media today. Um, so every business can benefit from this greatly. And then, you know, one of the other features was push notifications. I'm gonna stress that again, you know, you're able to instantly ping every single one of your customers that have downloaded your app all at the same time. Think of the power of that for promotional offers, new products, stuff like that. You know, yeah, businesses have newsletters, but then their emails get lost with the hundreds of other companies that that customer has signed up on the newsletter for. Um, ping in their phone, you're gonna get directly into your customer's face and you're gonna be a lot more visible. Uh, Dick, just to jump in, so on the email side, you know, email nowadays with, you know, most people use Gmail, you know, the spam filters really kind of shut out. Email marketing is a lot tougher, so people are moving more towards, no, you know, in-app notifications. Um, to specifically, you know, Nick answered Jason's question. I mean, certainly, you know, an app is a good alternative for a website, but, you know, most of your customers probably have websites, and while it was implied in the, in the um, presentation Nick gave, that we could piggyback off of the website. I just want to be very, you know, specific to the point. If they have a website, one of the nice things about our app is that some of those menu options could actually point to and what we call frame pages on the website. So you know, you could manage your website, manage content, um, and the app will automatically get updated. So, and that that's true with a lot of things. So if they're using, you know, Google Photos, if they're using YouTube videos. They're using RSS feeds. The app will bring all of that stuff in. So I think that's an important point. Talk about responsive, right? This technology is unbelievable. Um, and, you, and you're right. The, the fact of the matter is, you know, email marketing is slightly coming back. However, uh, you know, the spam folders and the filters uh, and people unsubscribing because they're sick of email. Um, you know, email open rates have dropped dramatically over, you know, the past two decades. But, you know, you send someone a text message and it's like a 97% open rate, but within it's a push notification from an app, I would probably say it's almost 100% open rate because they've got to open it to close it. <laughs> um, so apps in terms of a communication channel are, are and it's only going to grow because the, the you know, mobile um, development is huge and more and more people are going mobile. So um, that's exciting. It really is. Um, I have a quick question. In terms of your packages, is there any watermark or anything with the app company, or is it 100% clean in terms of um, for the, the user? It's 100% clean. There is no watermark on it. 
Okay, so I think a lot of people that might have evaluated uh, Scott when you first introduced um, you know, your company, you talked about how there's a lot of do-it-yourself types of uh, programs out there, and that's one of the things that we see is that, yeah, you can get that, but blasted all over every page of your app is their branding, right? And that's, that's I think, important when you're talking about the small to medium-sized businesses or even large businesses that they want to be able to have a clean branding on their, on their app. Um, in fact, and on the, app, yeah, the, the app, I don't know if it was, it was shown, but I don't know if it, if it was obvious to everybody. It's both Android and iOS. And on the iOS side, Apple now actually requires, you know, in apps like ours that are platforms, requires the client to have their own Apple account. So the, the Apple, it could even be on the app company side. We would basically push it to the client's Apple you know, iOS you know, store accounts. So, you know, so at A, it's required, but B, they have their full branding. It's their, they, it's their app. That's great. That's great. Um, so does the client need a website to have an app or it can be standalone, correct? Yes, yeah, so it can be standalone, completely independent. Um, we work with businesses that have websites. We work with businesses that don't have websites. So they don't, do not need a website in order to have an app. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, I had a question here about the landing page. It's the appcompany.com slash market America. So the app company.com slash market America is the landing page. If you have a lead for for uh, Nick or Scott and their team to contact someone in, in terms of setting up a consult and talk a little bit more about app development. Um, if you go to your shop.com, you can actually go in the search bar and type in the app company. If you have ShopBuddy downloaded, you can go to Google and type in the app company. Um, you can also go to your brand new shop business landing page, which is shop.com slash shop business. And there's a link to the app company there as well. So multiple places to get to the app company from your, um, your business. But this particular landing page, the appcompany.com slash market America is a lead page for you to download a brochure, download the presentation, but also to fill in contact information, um, for someone who's interested in uh, in an app from the app company. Now, again, we also have to respect Nick and Scott and their team, and let's not just flood this with people that are not real leads. You know, you want to have a conversation with someone who says, "Yeah, I'm interested in an app," right? They should probably say those words before you go ahead and send a lead. Not, "Hey, there's Joe's Pizza in town. I think they'd be great for having an app. Let me put their name and contact information in this form." That's not how this works, right? Um, this is for actual candidates and prospects and qualified somewhat leads um, to bring to their team uh, for development. I, I just, I can't be more clear about that because we don't want to ruin this relationship and just send them a bunch of bogus leads um, hoping that someone's going to buy one. Okay, so let's make sure that we have a conversation with a business that has an actual interest in uh, an app. And you don't need to know any information other than, hey, let me get you in touch with some, uh, some of the uh, professionals. Okay. And if there's anything specific that you need us to know and you'd like us to talk to you first, you know, in the comments section, you know, please let us know and we'd happily contact you guys first. Great point. Great point. Because a lot of us have relationships with the business owners and they're asking us questions and they don't really want to set an appointment just yet, but they want to start that conversation. So that's great to know as well. Or we can um, empower you if you do have specific questions and you want to start with them. You know, we can answer your questions and then even set up a joint call. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm really happy about that and, and the relationship that we're developing here. Um, yeah, so just to reiterate to uh, to you that the customer or the client gets the cash back, not the unfranchised owner. The unfranchised owner gets IBV, um, not the cash back. The cash back goes to the customer in this case. Um, the partnership right now is not available uh, in Taiwan. We're going to talk right now and and continue this uh, development and this partnership over you know as long as it takes and and see if there's a need in other uh, other markets you know we have certainly global markets here but we want to start in the US and see how things are going um, probably the next thing that we're looking at is Canada um, I know that we obviously uh, the app company can service anyone that's English speaking that's the the primary thing right now for support purposes we need to focus on English speaking right now um, however we would look to expand this um, 
you know, as we grow together in this partnership, Canada would be the next um, country open. And we're going to talk about that quickly. I know one country um, within Canada is Quebec that sometimes even with web centers, we have a challenge because it's a French speaking nation. And because sport it, uh, support isn't in French, we can't um, allow it. But with the app company, we're going to talk about what their capabilities are in other uh, languages. So that's exciting. Um, Go through some more of these questions. Everyone, yeah, everyone wants to know when will it launch in Taiwan? Well, you will be the first one to know. As soon as we know, everyone, we will let you know when we're available in other countries. Um, yes, huge opportunity. How many pages are available for the business owner to create themselves with the nine ninety nine package again? So if they, so if you purchase the nine ninety nine, there's no limit to how many pages can be added it's just what we do and what we build for the client um, so if you want to you know purchase the 999 if your client purchases the 999 plan and you personally set everything up for them you're more than welcome to do that um, there's no limit how many pages can be in the app it's just how much we're building for the for the client great um... Here's a great question. I hadn't thought of this one, but can clients charge um, people to download their app? You know, a lot of apps are paid downloads. Uh, how does it work with, with your apps? They, they absolutely can. Um, now, the way that that would work is there's, there's two different ways that you can charge for an app. There's charging for the app to actually download it, which is fairly easy to do. But then there's also what's called in-app purchases. Um, where there's things inside the app that can be purchased, whether it's additional features inside of the app, or maybe, you know, another popular one is a lot of people put ads in their app and you can pay to remove the ads. We can do those things. Those are definitely going to be more on the custom development side. It's not something that's, you know, that all of that's very one-off things. Um, but yes, 100%. Okay. Yeah, on the app store, when you publish the app, there's just an option that says, is it free or do you want to charge? And if you want to charge, how much? So certainly they could do that. And let me follow up to that question. If a client ha wants to have a free version as well as a paid version, how does that affect it? Would that all just be in the custom side or could they or they have to have two different packages with you guys? So yeah, it's, really, yeah. it's really not us. I mean, if there's a free app and a paid app, it's really two apps because there's no way you know, for an app on either the Play Store or the, or the Apple Store to be one or the other. Certainly, as Nick, as Nick was saying, the model that what's called, you know, there's like a freemium model, which is, this is pretty common, an app is free, and then there are features that cost money. But, you know, as of now, through the custom, through the platform interface, there's really no way to do that. But we certainly could do custom stuff that way. Right. Okay. Um, another question in terms of, um, you know, a little bit more on the basic side is what is the difference between a mobile app and a mobile enabled website? Nick, I know that we talked about that a little bit with in our interview, but uh, share with share with everyone here a little bit about the difference. Yeah. So with a mobile website, um, it's, you know, while it, it will be responsive, it could look great, you're still limited into the confinements of what's possible through a website. So going back to rewards program, could a rewards program be built on a mobile website? Possibly, but you're not gonna get near the same user experience with apps. They're much more, you know, user friendly. They're much faster. Um, you know, there was a study and I pointed statistics in that interview that the percentage of people that prefer apps over mobile websites is over 85%. Um, and there's a reason for that. Once again, it goes back to, you know, take Yelp. I use Yelp all the time. I never go to Yelp.com. You know, they have a great mobile website, but I have the Yelp app just because it's more integrated with the phone. There's additional functionality that's just not possible with a mobile website because with an app, it is software that's running on the actual phone. So it's able to leverage additional things that are not possible through a mobile website. Uh, push, notification, push notifications, another prime example that I'll bring up again. Through a mobile website, you don't have push notifications to the app you do. Also with an app, you're able to know more information about your customers and make it easier for customers to be able to reach you. You know, with mobile websites, they're great, 
but in terms of navigating them, they're not near as seamless as an app is. Apps are built specifically for phones and tablets in mind, so everything is able to be accessed easier, it all works faster, and the user just has a, enjoys using it. Um, well, the other big issue, Nick, is that on a mobile website, they have to load their browser, either bookmark the site, turn in, you know, type in the URL, versus if it's an app, it's, it's the icon is right there on the desktop. So there's a big difference there, too. Yes, absolutely. You have prime, as a business, having your own app, you have prime real estate on your customer's phone. So they use their phone, they're constantly seeing your app icon, you know, it takes, oh, we're, where are we gonna go eat tonight? And they're like, oh, well, think of that business because they saw the app icon on their phone. Uh, that's a fairly common thing. Um, so there's various different reasons why an app would be used over a mobile website, um, but those are many of the major reasons why. Yeah, certainly the additional branding that you mentioned um, is huge when their logo, like you said, lives on the, their, their user's phone. Um, certainly a huge, huge part of that. Um, when someone launches their browser, also there, there's nothing more aggravating when you click on a link on a website and it downloads a PDF to your phone. This, <laughs> this would be a case where a, an app, it doesn't happen. It lives, the document is, lives on the actual app, right? Um, right. I, I think of some of those things, like you talk about functionality, engagement, user experience between an app and a mobile website. Um, let me ask you, when you launch a browser and you've got um, a mobile website, but you also have, they have an app or you already have downloaded an app, there's usually a pop-up that says, do you want to open this in the app? Is that something that happens on the, um, uh, on the operating system of the phone? Or is that something that has to be built into the mobile website? So that can be built through the mobile website. So I'm, I'm just to make sure I understand you're asking, I'm understanding your question. So you're asking if you go to a mobile website and it recommends you to download the app, is that what you're referring to? Yeah, or you click on a link and it says, would you like to open this in the app instead? Got it, yeah, so that would be, what's, it's like a link trigger. So if there, if that link on the mobile website is linked properly to the app, then yes, it would be able to do that. Okay. If it's a little piece of code, so what they if they wanted to do that, so you're right, with Yelp and with Instagram, they all have that. So it's a small little piece of code that you put in the header of your website if you want to give a person that option. It's very simple. Okay, excellent, excellent. Um, now, in a lot of our um, B2B services, uh, certainly in the Web Center division, we have consultation sheets or assessment sheets where we're asking business owners um, certain questions to make sure that we have a qualified candidate or qualified appointment. Um, could, we, could we work together on some questions or things that we can ask our clients and uh, come up together maybe with a, a few things for an assessment so we can help develop more clients for the app company? Yes, absolutely. We can certainly work on that. Um, the one, one thing I will say, though, is any customer that is qualified or has interest in a website would should be equally as, uh, you know, interested in an app just because in terms of the website, as Scott mentioned earlier, we're able to integrate websites completely. So the app can do, at the bare, at the bare minimum, the app can complete all of the functionality that the website offers. But then there's a whole different suite of additional features that I kind of ran through earlier that can add on to that. But yes, we can certainly work on a consultation sheet, you know, what questions to ask, um, but they would be fairly similar to what it would be for the web stunners. Sure. And it might even just be a question or two that we can add um, to the, the, you know, to what we already have just to see, you know, if that's a potential opportunity as well. Great. Yes, agreed. Okay. Um, question in the medical um, field, um, HIPAA compliance, um, if there's a medical prospect, how does that work or have you had any experience with medical clients? Yeah, so we actually have a client, um, we have not released the app yet and I can't reveal the, the name of them currently, um, but we are working with a medical device company right now that the app essentially communicates with a, it's a prenatal diabetic machine and it connects through Bluetooth. Obviously this is more of a custom thing. So anything where you're talking about HIPAA compliance and medical clients, we, can, we absolutely have experience there. Um, there is just a whole different procedure that has to be involved with a client like that. 
So yes, we have experience. Yes, we can do it. It would just, it would be a custom app project. Okay. Yeah, I, I figure it would be. Okay, great. Well, it looks like we handled most of the questions. I know we've got, um, let's see, one more here, which I will handle. It says, yeah, if a client is already one of our partner stores, once they have an app, if the customers go directly to the app instead of the website, uh, it won't be able to be tracked through uh, for cashback or the shopping area. And that is correct, Hilda. Um, so right now, if it's going to be tracked for cashback or IBV for um, for shop.com partner stores, it's got to go through shop.com. Uh, I know we are evaluating how to generate the same type of link traffic and affiliate commissions through apps because it's becoming more and more common. You know, many of our stores are, are huge name brand stores all have apps as well. But if our clients go directly to the app, there's no way for shop.com to track and trigger that it was actually a shop.com customer or a lead. So something that we're always thinking of Hilda. So great question, but um, certainly something that if a client has an app through the app company, we still can't track it back to shop.com because if they open up their app directly, um, we can't do that. Certainly we can only track right now if a client purchases an app from the app company, but what that client does on their app, um, we don't have the, the technology right now to, to link the two, if that makes sense. But certainly as the world turns more mobile, it is on our uh, radar in terms of how to create more traffic from the e-commerce side of uh, different apps. All right, let me just go through and make sure I handled all these questions. You guys have been fantastic. Great questions. Uh, Nick and Scott on their game. You know, obviously these guys are professionals, know everything and anything about apps and have seen all sorts of different clients and questions. But certainly um, if, if people have questions and they don't want to set up a full consultation or a lead form, um, what is the best way for them to get more information or to communicate with, with you guys? So the best way to contact us, and this information is available on both the brochure, it's in the presentation as well, is marketamericatheappcompany.com. We wanted to make it simple, easy for you guys to remember. So if you just email marketamerica, one word, at theappcompany.com, it'll instantly go to Scott or I and we'll respond. Um, and then, you know, that's how we prefer you contact us, but also you can just always go to, here's our website, theappcompany.com. And we have a contact form where you can contact us. So you just tell us, hey, I'm with Mark in America, blah, 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 blah. And then you ask us your question and we will guide you from there. Fantastic. Excellent. All right. Any um, any closing remarks, Nick or Scott? I mean, I, I really appreciate your time um, tonight. Obviously, you guys are on the West Coast. We got a lot of people here on the East Coast as well uh, logging on. And I've got a lot of people that have already been messaging me that they're anxious to, uh, to watch the replay. So... Um, yeah, any final closing remarks before we close out tonight? Uh, this is Nick for me. We're just, you know, we're looking forward to working with you guys. We're looking forward to working and assisting, you know, your guys' businesses. We've seen great results with small businesses in terms of return on investment. You know, that's a big thing is, you know, this isn't, it shouldn't be looked at as a business. Oh, they're spending two or three grand. It's an investment into their business. And, you know, what we've seen with our smaller businesses is the return on investment is fairly impressive. Um, so it's an investment. And, you know, the more information they can gather about their customers and the better experience they can deliver to their customers, you know, the more successful their business is going to be. Um, so we're excited to work with you guys. We're here for any questions. We're here to help you guys whenever we can. Um, so that's all I have to say, but um, I'll hand it over to Scott. Yeah, I'll just say that we're you know, we we really love meeting everyone and people we could in Miami, and we're excited about this opportunity. And we we're learning too, so you know we want to learn what's important for your clients. What we have today is pretty sophisticated, but you know we're all ears. And if you feel that we, you know, there's something that specifically we need to do, you know, please let us know, and that could be part of the lead process, the sales process, the technical you know side. So you know, we're very excited about this partnership and you know let's you know let's get moving and let's all make a lot of money. <laughs> I love it. I love it. 
making uh, you know making my ears ring. That's fantastic. So thank you guys so much for being on tonight. Uh, thank you, Nick and Scott, and we're hoping that we can have Nick and Scott join us for our international convention down in Greensboro, North Carolina, in August. Um, and of course, we'll we'll stay in touch. We'll do some more blog posts. We'll do some more webinars, but certainly provide more feedback to us because again, this is really one team, one dream. We're all in this together. We want to help small businesses. We want to help large businesses. We want to help the app company. We want to help shop.com. We want to help ourselves. So let's all work together to make the, uh, the this all possible together. And uh, certainly it is an open door. If you have any questions, reach out to uh, to us at mawebcenters at marketamerica.com, Jason P at marketamerica.com or Nick or Scott. And we'll make sure that we can take this to the next level and looking forward to seeing everyone as soon as possible at our next upcoming event. So have a great night, everyone.